Shalom brothers, Shalom brothers, fellow subscribers of ours, okay, welcome to another episode of Swaka Sharpie 2, alright, as you should know, I'm Priest Bullet Twabra Khan, and I have Rina for me in the background, Praise right, Khan, so, um, there was a request, um, by a few brothers, uh, fellow subscribers of ours, that <clears throat> wanted to get more understanding of the doctrine of hell, alright, because the brother Marshawn and ourself, what we see in the scriptures through the spirit, um, the teachings of an actual quote unquote hell is pagan, okay, and that there is no underworld where people die, and when they're evil, their souls go down to to be tortured by the Most High, you know, understand or Son Christ or the devil is down there with a pitchfork, <clears throat> with angels, things of that sort. Okay, the scriptures don't speak of such, but when it comes to Luke the sixteenth chapter, brother asked us to do a video on it because. Without proper understanding, it may seem like as if it does speak of such. So, without further delay, Luke the Sixteenth chapter, um, we decided to make this video upon request for about uh, a few months now. Brother, have wanted us to do this video, but so many topics and so many doctrines out there to cut, and so many other things was going on in our lives and on YouTube we had to deal with. So, nevertheless, like I've said, I'm glad that the Most High allowed. The Swarka Sharpie channel to be shut down. So now we could just get to the sincere brothers out there. Because as we take a we took a peek on YouTube not too long ago, and, and we see it's nothing there. Okay. Um, a lot of brothers in Israel are not even putting up videos anymore on YouTube as often as they were before. Alright. So <clears throat> we see that there's the most eyes causing that YouTube fetish to cease from amongst unsincere men. Okay, unsincere men, meaning men that just go on YouTube just to be entertained with drama. Men that go on YouTube to just be entertained with laughs. Okay, not real sincere of trying to get edified with these scriptures. Well, this is what the Sword Cut Sharply channel brings to the table. Okay, through the Spirit of Most High in Christ, the Brother Mashah and myself, we diligently search these scriptures to edify the ones of our people willing to be edified sincerely. So, as of right now, you brothers that are subscribers, you're the sincere ones. You're the only ones that are able to watch our videos, okay? Due to the uh, <clears throat> the haters out there, all right, that may flag our videos or make um, rude, asinine comments on our channels that I wish not to deal with anymore, all right? Because majority of the time, brothers don't come with scriptures, man. Okay, and this isn't really for the woman. Okay, the subscribers that we have is men. All right, and the reason why is because as you you can read that on your own, Proverbs eight and four. All right, for the sincere brothers. All right, the woman has her place. Her place is to serve her husband and take care of her kids. All right, if she wants to learn anything, let her learn from her husband at home. All right, so sisters have husbands. Do not subscribe to the channel. Their husbands will subscribe. Okay, that's the bottom line. All right, just as simple as that. We are very strict on that. So now, without further ado, let's um, get into Luke the Sixteen chapter concerning um, the Luke the Sixteen chapter, the doctrine of hell, cut and give the understanding of it. So this is Luke sixteen nineteen. Read what you got, brother. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fair. Uh, sumptuously every day. Right. So the rich man. Okay. So this is this is a two. This you're gonna find out that this is a twofold um, parable that Christ is speaking of. And when I say twofold, meaning it's, it's talking about two people under the same parable. Christ. Par this parable of the rich man is going into in the times that we're living in right now, concerning the so-called white man and the other nations that are rich over us, the Gentiles, many the so-called white race. All right. All right, they're in power right now, so it's really is referring to them, and it's also twofold because it's referring to the Pharisees. All right, and you're gonna see why I'm bringing out that is referring to the Pharisees, because brothers that might have heard this breakdown before of Luke 16, as it was taught to me in my younger days of Israel, that the rich man was referring to Esau, the so-called white man. But through proper understanding through the Spirit is also going into the par the Pharisees, okay? And I'm going to show through the Spirit why I say such. So read again one more time from the top. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. Right, so this rich man had money, he had riches, and he fared sumptuously every day. Meaning that he never had a want and never had a need that he couldn't fulfill. All right, hold that. Give me Revelation chapter 18 verse 11. Okay, let's deal with the aspect of the rich men as referring to the Gentiles, all right, of this system. <clears throat> and we also know that there's some of our people 
okay, or of the same flesh as we are, but they're not our people spiritually, that have riches in the society. Well, the reason why they have riches in the society is because they have the mark of the beast. All right, they have sold out to Satan. They have, they have cleaved themselves onto the identity of the beast in order to fare well with the beast. You understand? They become like unto the beast. All right. So that's why they have what they have today. All right. And notice you don't see a lot of rich brothers in this truth, if not any. All right. Because like Christ said, it's easy for a camel to go through the hole of a needle than for a rich man to enter to the kingdom. Like the parable of the seed and the sower in uh, Matthew's the 13th chapter, the riches of this world and the cares of it tend to choke the word. All right. And then brothers will be and sisters will be more into serving their lust and their riches more than serving the most high in Christ and dealing with these scriptures. All right. So let's get Re Revelation chapter 18, verse 11 concerning the rich men. Read what you got out. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Right. Because this is going to the destruction of America, which is Babylon the Great. Okay. The mother of harlots. And when America is destroyed, the merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her. All right. Because America is nothing but a big corporate plantation, man. All right. This is big business here. All right. The nations and the Gentiles outside of America use this country for its economic growth. That's why now Obama is about to pass a, a law in which now you have to pay taxes to Europe now. Okay, it's going back to the days of the British now. Okay, back in the 1700 colonial days. All right, now they're trying to push America to allow American taxpayers and American tax money to go overseas unto Europe now and to deal with the economic global crisis that's going on over there with the European Union, which is the Ten Horns, okay? So America's just nothing but a big whore that everybody's getting a piece out of and using her because of her military and things of that nature, all right? Obama has sent the troops home from Iraq, allegedly, mm -hmm. because they already got the oil and everything that, you know, they wanted to do in that land region. They set oh, up this right. guy, Saddam Hussein, mm -hmm. to be the puppet, okay, and set him up to be the cannon fodder while we got to go in there. But just like in the movie Avatar, what did the white man say? If you if, if people are sitting on something that you want, you make them your enemy so you can have an excuse to go take it, all right? So that's what that was all about, all right? The Lord said this man is a proud man. He never keep a fat home. Like it tells you in, um, what is that, Habakkuk the second chapter? Yeah. Okay, I believe it was. Right, Habakkuk the second chapter, third verse all the way down. It goes into the spirit of the so-called white man, all right? The top elite in their military. So read Revelation 18, 11 again. In the merchants of the earth, shall weep and mourn over her. Right, so there's going to be certain people that's going to weep and mourn over the destruction of America that's making money, all right? Because the rich man in Luke the 16th chapter is also going into the merchants, okay? The ones that had good life and the ones that had businesses and ones who thrived well on capitalism. Read on. For no man buy it, their merchandise anymore and the people are going to be upset because there's not going to be any man in america that's going to buy anything from them anymore so where's the chip okay where's the chip where's the chip see that hope your brothers got the mark of the beast video i put up okay that i did a couple of months back all right um volume one okay and volume two i don't have maybe the brother um uh, his subscriber name is Amin Vets. He he probably has those videos. He, from my understanding, he um, downloaded pretty much most, if not all, my videos that I did since I came on YouTube like two and a half years ago. So um, I wish for you brothers, subscribers, to get to know each other. Your brothers have the same mind or else you wouldn't be here. You understand? And basically get to know each other a little bit more in the spirit, man. All right? And communicate with one another. You know, brother has... You know, um, some videos, you know, so you could go to him and, um, you know, and brothers also know that, you know, I'm willing to, and the brother, Marshawn and I, we're willing to congregate, okay, we're willing to um, do classes, whatever it takes, brothers want our emails, you want our phone numbers, at least to get mine, okay, and we could talk, you know, because I know who you are, you know, that's the thing, I know who all the subscribers are, so I know that you guys and some of you already have the phone numbers already. So if you have any questions or anything during the week and you can't wait till another video to be done, there's only a few scriptures, you can email us, you can call us. You know, I want to establish a brotherly covenant amongst y'all brothers. And concerning the scriptures, any questions, let us, like the scripture says, iron sharpen of iron, let us edify one another. So brotherly love continue. You understand? So it says right here that the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. So that's can't, that can't be talking about an RFID chip. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Okay, the scripture says no man's gonna be buying their merchandise anymore. It didn't say because of the, the because there's no mark, no man could buy their merchandise anymore, or because of the mark being gone, no man could buy their merchandise anymore. All right. It doesn't even mention mark period in Revelation the 18th chapter. All right. So you're not gonna need an RFID chip in order to buy anything in this society. All right, that's not the correct understanding of the mark of the beast in Revelation 13, Revelation 14, or Revelation 16. All right, so the correct understanding is, is that the bulk of the people that have the mark of the beast are going to be destroyed and burnt. Those will be the ones that have sold their souls, okay, in order to have some form of economic growth and to also sponsor and spearhead this economy in America. You understand, like around this time of the year, online shopping is up. People's minds are only set to shop. And sell businesses, merchants, traders, just like it was in ancient Rome and a lot of other civilization cities, you understand, that relied very well on society and economic tax and growth. So, people that own businesses from overseas, they're going to be upset. A lot of these corporate owners are going to be upset once America's destroyed because they're not going to be able to make any money anymore in the society. There's not going to be anybody to buy their products, to sell property tax, whatever. All right, because the system is going to be destroyed right along with the people. Read on. All right. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all matter, matter and all matter vessels of ivory and all matter vessels of most precious wood and of brass. And iron and marble. So these are the things that cause a rich men to um, live so sumptuously every day because they have these things. All right. They have these things, which is what the people want, which represents victuals. All right. These things which are aforementioned. Read on. And cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men right souls of men you understand because in order for the people to possess these things or those that wish to only be involved in receiving and buying and selling these things they had to sell their soul to satan all right they had to sell their soul unto the beast and receive of his mark you understand his identity all right basically by going contrary to the word of the most high they put the word of the lord bottom or they didn't put it uh, first and foremost, they put it last most, if not even mentioned it in mind and spirit. And these are the only things that people was wanted to be excited over and get. All right. They wouldn't want the knowledge of the most high. They wanted these things. So souls of men. Okay. They're going to be also the ones that is going to be found here in America once the Lord destroys it. Read on. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. Right. And he said, where's the chip? It says, the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. For wants of great victuals, you understand? They're all departed. They're all gone. Read. And all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee. Right. All these things that our people love, okay, this uh, electronic cell phones, laptops, computers, whatever, okay, cars, Whatever they put before the Most High and they lusted after, all that's going to be destroyed here in America. And the people that create these things, okay, from afar, all because you understand something. The, the technology and what the people really lust after in the society, the makers are overseas, all right? So they make a lot of money shipping these products into this country. So once America's destroyed, okay, those Gentiles are going to be very upset when they realize that there's no more economy, no more America. That they can't make any money and live lasher viciously anymore with. Read on. And that shall find them no more at all. Right. They're not going to be no more at all. Why? Because they're going to be burnt up. Read on. Verse 15. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her. Right. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her. So we go to Luke the 16th chapter. It speaks about the rich man. All right. And the rich man are the ones that was made rich okay because of those things the buying and selling all right that's what it's talking about the simple fact that it's not talking about an RFID chip but the rather fact that these dainty visuals that was aforementioned the rich men owned them and was selling them to the people no one was going to buy this stuff anymore all right like I said a lot of the heads of these companies that own these things and sell these things in the warehouses to the people the common folk they're overseas Okay, they have homes in Europe. They have homes in different parts of the world outside of America. 
all right and they're not going to be making any money no more once this place is destroyed and burnt up all right so they're going to be weep bing at that day when it comes read on shall stay afar off for the fear of her torment weeping and wailing. right notice they said they're going to stand afar off which goes to show you